Hello everybody and a good day to you all the day. I'm talking about the Runaway Season number one, episode number five, Kingdom. In this episode here we have Alex. He gets kidnapped. He gets kidnapped by um Darius, who used to be friends with um Alex's father, Jeffrey, because they used to be in the part of the same crew when they both were gangsters. Now, Jeffrey, before he became the successful business, um, I guess realtor like he is now, he was in a gang. And he was in jail for killing a man. And while he's in while he's in prison, he also meets um, <clears throat> Alex's mother, Catherine, because he she was Jeffrey's lawyer. So now I don't understand why a lawyer, a successful lawyer with a career and life together, decides to go with a gangster or a guy who's in prison. But I guess love finds a way. I, I, I guess I guess she knew he wasn't going anywhere, so. I guess he's easy pickings, like I guess. So anyway, through the circumstances, they 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 become a couple, and they they get they meet a man who they're not exactly sure who he is, and he's um he's his name is Jonah, and he's played by um um Julian um Mc McMahon McMohan McMahon I think I said his last name, but anyway, he meets this guy, and he makes a deal with him. And, and this deal gonna make them a whole lot of money, become very, very successful. So the only way, the only way this deal could go through, he has to get out of prison if he's, if, because he's still in jail. Deal's off. So he can, he so Jeffrey convinces his friend Darius to take the fall for him. All he has to do is tell everybody he was the one who shot the guy, and then Darius would serve his time. And while and while Jeffrey's on the outside, he'll make sure that Darius, um, I guess auntie or grandma or whatever she is he gets taken care of and he will get some of the money too and they'll be set for life all, all you gotta do is take the fall for him that's all you gotta do uh, <clears throat> well Jeffrey got out and he did not hold up to his end of the deal and he pretty much screwed over Darius and so now Darius is a little bit pissed off at what Jeffrey did to him and so the only way he get back at him is to get back at him through his son Alex and he kidnaps him in this episode right here and then you have Nico freaking out because she knows that her parents are a bunch of psychopath killers. So she's thinking that they're gonna. She's thinking that her parents are involved and they're gonna get um Alex killed. So she's trying to get every all the friends back together, together to pretty much save Alex. That's what's going on in this episode right here. And we got some reveals. <clears throat> you got to see that um Alex's parents Jeffrey and Catherine and how they connected to um. Carolina's parents, um, well, Carolina's mom, because Jonah is poss uh, maybe possibly what the show is the show is pretty much told. Jonah is pretty much Carolina' father. So the guy who the, so um so Frank Frank Dean may not be her dad at all. Now I'm not exactly sure what they are because Carolina has powers, and I'm not exactly sure where they come from. Like I said, I never before I never read the comic books. So what I what I have heard from them, I think she supposed to be like part, they probably like probably like an alien from 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 another planet or another, another dimension, something like that. And so her rainbow powers are a reason why that's why she could turn the rainbows and glow like that. But also in this episode, you get some reveals. Everybody finds out about what they're what they're capable of. I mean, they find out about Nico's um wine. They find out about um Molly's super strength, and they also find out about Gert. She has a pet a dinosaur, and Chase reve um, reveals his new power gauntlet gloves. And so the team is starting to form right here, and they haven't went run away yet. But I understand where the show is going. It's, tr it's trying to set it up so they so when they, they finally do run away, it is it is um, earned. Because see, the kids are now, now that all the kids know that their parents are killing children, that that doubt is gone. And you can see and you see them start to form and become a team in this episode right here too. And but the problem is, other than um, other than Chase. And Nico, mostly everybody had a good relationship with their parents before they knew what they was doing. While, while they, when they were living in ignorance and bliss, everything was going good with them. I mean, Nico was having trouble with her parents, and Chase was getting abused by his dad. But other than that, all the other kids, their relationships were fine. So now they got this shocker about seeing their parents become vi villains in front of their face. They having a hard time separating all the years they known them for what they know for they know now. 
is the like a, a, is the, is the love hate relationship they have with them. I mean, they hate their parents what they're doing, and they they want to get away from them. But at the same time, their parents were there for them, and they took care of them. And then you had another complication with, with Chase and his father Victor Stein. Victor is very abusive. Pretty much abused Chase pretty much all his life. So now Chase actually in this, in this episode has a father because Chase it was building on working on a device. And then when his father saw this, it made him happy. And because of this, he pretty much encouraged his son to pursue this dream that he's doing. And he's, 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 being, thank, he's being thoughtful. He's being caring. He's not lashing out at him. He's treating him like a, a father would treat a son. And Chase is like, this, I, I, I don't want this to go away. I don't know what to do. I know you're a psycho and you help kill a lot of kids. But just think, now you're treating me good for the first time ever in my life. And I don't want this feeling to end, so I don't know what to do. And now they found out that his father has brain cancer, which is now that's even messing him up even more. So he, now he's dealing with the fact that his father helped kill teenagers. He finally gets a father that's treating him with love and respect. And now, he, now, now this moment may end because his father is dying of brain cancer. I just, what the hell? So all these kids are trying to deal with the fact that their parents are evil. I mean, even Gert and Molly, whose parents are like the most happiest people on earth, who treats them like they're princesses, and then to find out that, 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 that they're psychos. I mean, Nico, on the other hand, she, so, she totally gets it. She says, my mom has been mean to me all my life, and so now I find out she's evil. Made perfect sense. Made perfect sense. And even though Alex is upset with his dad right now, before all this stuff happens, he was happy. The only, only, only problem he had in his life was the fact that he, he didn't have his friends and want to be friends anymore. And that was pretty much it. Other than that, he was living in bliss. Ah. So, watching, so watching these children trying to figure out what to do with their lives now that they know. Also that they know about each other's power, what their abilities are. And then watching the parents trying to deal with the, what, they're, what they're doing with. Not the, and, and also trying to relate to their children again. It's so interesting. The only problem I have with this episode is that is this that um I have no idea of um of them sacrificing people do for everybody. I mean I understand what it does for um Leslie. I understand what it does for her because it helps her be with um Jonah again. But what does what how does that benefit everybody else a part of that circle? I don't I don't know. Like all these children life and sacrifice. But what did they gain from it? I don't see what, what they gained. All it did was extend um, Jonah's life, which affects Leslie, but nobody else. Is it in the comic books? From what I understand, they made sacrifices to gods, to actual gods, deities, and I, I guess that I think they blessed them with stuff. And so now it seems like they're making sacrifices to make sure this guy can stay alive longer. But I don't see how it benefits the whole crew. That's the only problem I have with the episode. Huh. Yeah. But other than that, I'm still enjoying it. I'm like, I'm, I like where this is going. I, like, I love the characters and seeing their relationships I like, blossom and groom and watching them discover their abilities and, and learn about themselves. I'm, I'm enjoying all of that. I, I'm in. So, leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of The Runaways. And if you haven't watched it, so check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. I don't know anything. Check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy and have fun watching it too. So, just give my channel a big old like, hit a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Bam! And subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.